Hey guys, we are back creating something new, making a song, a classic song, essentially a new song today. What am I doing? That's right, I'm applying drums to a song that has no drums. Going back 50, 5 oh, 50 years to Led Zeppelin 4. What a great overall album. We'll be putting drums to the classic, The Battle of Evermore. We'll talk about everyone and everything afterwards. Let's give it a go, mate.
1971, 50 years ago. Mind boggling how time just elapses us. 50 years, Led Zeppelin IV, what an iconic album. On that, so on that album, t tracks are just, uh, that's a, in my eyes, that's a top 10 rock album of all time. Zeppelin IV, just epic. Of course, it has no drums. And when I, ever, when I do apply drums to a song, guys, that doesn't have drums, I always like to think I'm the drummer in that band. <laughs> I'm nowhere near Bonzo, uh, John Bonham. We'll talk about him. But I like to imagine for those five minutes, five and a half minutes of this song, how long it is that I'm John Bonham playing to the song. So if you heard a little Bonham in there, uh, it's because that's paying homage and respect to him. So I try to put those drummers in the song I'm doing. Um, I hope you liked it. Uh, really, really fun song to play. Uh, the Battle of Evermore. Um, it brings me back, if I could be honest, to my house in 76 Clifton Avenue. I, I wasn't even into music yet. I was into sports, uh, big baseball fan, still a big baseball fan, but baseball, baseball, baseball. And I used to sneak into my sister Andrea's room and Diane's room, uh, my two oldest sisters, Andrea and Diane, and I would put their albums on and I would essentially at times ruin their albums, break their needle, and I got in trouble for that. Um, but I remember so many albums back then that I've been playing to, and I remember this album in her milk crate zeppelin 4 and i was like well, led zeppelin what is that so that was really my first introduction to music my sister andrea um she had all the albums with my with my sister diane and then my brother michael later on with all the beatles stuff uh so just just great memories it goes out to a good friend a good facebook friend we've never met but we will be um hopefully in this room soon doing a side by side a great drummer who loves zeppelin uh, Ken Marchesani. That's for you, Ken. I hope you liked it. I hope everyone liked my interpretation of the Battle of Evermore from Led Zeppelin. Thanks, guys.